Good afternoon, Sivaradi. Uh, I have seen you already. So please introduce yourself. Uh, I am Sivaradi. I am from AP. Uh, currently, I am staying in Hyderabad. And I was completed my graduation in 2024. EC background with a 75 percentage. Uh, currently, I was completed my coaching. Here, plus DevOps in Magnetic Software. And I am good at technical subject, Linux, Git, GitHub, Maven, Jenkins, SonarQ, Terraform, and Docker, Kubernetes, and Prometheus and Grafana. Uh, particularly, I am using Linux for the operating system. For Git and GitHub, it is a version control system. Coming to Maven, I am using for the Java projects. And SonarQ, I am just testing the code and quality check. And coming to Docker and Kubernetes for deployment of the application. And Terraform and Ansible for the infrastructure as a configuration. And for monitoring application, I am using Prometheus and Grafana. Okay. How much rate was it for top in Kubernetes? Uh, 3 to 4. So. Okay. What is the difference between deployment and stateful set? Uh, coming to deployment, it is a big one which is, it is maintained by the replica sets. So, how many replica sets is available? So, it will maintain. Uh, coming to next one, so replica set. So, in the stateful set, uh, I want difference between deployment and stateful set. Okay. Uh, for deployment, it will maintain by the replicas. So, how many replicas it is there? It will maintain by the deployment. Coming to stateful state, so it will maintain the storage. So network, how many networks is there? How much uh, it will take? It will store. It will store its purpose. We are using stateful set. Okay. Other than that, other than uh, is there any differences between deployment and stateful set? Uh, stateful mainly it is focus on network storage. Mm. Network okay. Storage. Okay. What is the purpose of the ingress? So ingress, it is incoming traffic. Incoming traffic purposefully we are using ingress. Example. I am using the application which is uh, Amazon. Okay, so I have a lot of services is there. So instantly, so many customers are visiting our application, which is incoming traffic only. So Ingress will, example, there is a deployment strategy. Canary is there. Okay, so Canary, what it will do? Simply, we have sent at least 10 to 15 percent of the code which is into new version, which is live. It will test by the customers only, not for the clients. So this is the example. Okay. Mm. What is the type? Uh, which type of the load balancer is the ingress? Sure. Which type of the load balancer is the ingress? Which type? The, no, ingress is the one of the type of the load balancer. Which type? Um, I, I which layer? Know. I don't know. Sir. Layer seven load balancer. Just you need to remember. Layer seven load balancer. Like Let us see the layer seven load balancer. Application layer seven means application. Layer. application. There will be on seven layers. It is a transport layer, application layer. Okay, na? The, the, the ingress is the seventh layer. Okay, next. Uh, can you explain the deployment different deployment strategies? So we have four type of deployment strategies. Uh, first one is rolling update. So in rolling update, uh, example, I am using the application. So I want change the new version. Simply, I will send uh, 20 to 30 percent. Example. So if the application is good, is running, so we can send 70 percent is remaining. Uh, coming to recreate is there one more thing. So we have to stop the application. There is a downtime. In rolling update, there is no downtime. In recreate, there is downtime. We have to stop the application at least five to ten seconds. So it will create multiple parts at a time. Same I previously I have four parts. So again, it will create four parts. Coming to blue green deployment is there. So blue is the previous version and green is the latest version. So new version is good, everything is fine. I'll continue with the new version. If I want to go back with the latest, not not latest, it's a previous version, I will go blue. And coming to Canary is there, so customer will test the application. So simply, I'll change the code. Example, ten percent of the new application. If the customer is okay, everything is fine. So we'll send ninety percent. Okay. Next. What is the difference between microservices and monolithic applications? Uh, coming to monolithic services, it is a uh, we are using previously last uh, seven years back. So example, I'm using the Mitra application. So there is different type of services there. Payment gateway is there for voice selection, gen selection. So if anything happen, total application will not run. Coming to microservices, every microservice there is a pod. So one service is not running, the remaining services will be run. This is the main advantage in microservices. Okay. What is the difference between config map and secrets? So in config maps, so we don't want much security. Example, I am generating key pair while launching instance. If I store there, nothing will happen. Coming to secrets, 
I'm using access key and I and I'm access key and secret key while I'm creating I'm a user. So it is security purpose. If anyone using my security and access key, they will have to they will access the application and they will do some changes. My application will be lost. So I'm using secrets while secure my application. Example there is HTTP and HTTPS. HTTP it is not a secure. Coming to HTTPS, it is secure. Okay. Okay, good security. You are good in Kubernetes. Try to improve yourself in the another tools also. Thank you.